taters. The perfect side dish to your breakfast eggs. I'm gonna show you two different ways to make them today. We're gonna to go hash browns, we're gonna go home fries. Tell me which one you like better in the comments. Let's get cooking. Whoop! All right, while you debate amongst yourselves if the intro is too aggressive, go ahead and start cutting the eyes out of one large potato. I like Yukon Golds because they break down quickly and aren't too starchy, but feel free to use whatever variety you want. Then grab your grater and start grating. Use the largest size grooves so you're left with one inch strings of taters. Don't be a hero and grate the entire potato along with part of your finger. Just get enough till you're left with a little piece. Gather all your tater babies and squeeze out the water into a bowl or into your sink. I'm just using a bowl here in case I drop some in and need to fish them out. Water is the enemy of getting anything crispy because when water meets heat it creates steam. So we want to remove as much water as possible in this step. After draining your potato, add a tablespoon of olive oil to a pan on medium heat. And when it's hot, add a tablespoon or two of good butter. The oil is going to help crisp up the potato and the butter is going to add a rich flavor on the inside. When the butter stops bubbling, add your potatoes to the pan and press firmly down to maximize the surface area. Make sure you cover the entire bottom of the pan. Add some freshly ground pepper, but don't add salt at this stage. We want to add it at the end when everything is crispy. The moment has come to see if I can flip this oversized laka in one take. Shapa! At this point, we can add a pinch of salt and let this hang out until the bottom has browned just as much as the top. It kind of looks like those fake plastic vomit things you could find at the dollar store, but looks aren't everything, so let's see how it tastes. All right, first up, let's try the hash browns. Mmm. Buttery, salty, flaky, crispy, everything you could possibly want. Highly recommend doing an egg over easy, throwing on top of this, and letting it soak through all the little crevices that you guys made. Let's go on to uh, item number two. It's so good. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. And then I'll do the other video. Alright, time to make some home fries. We're going to start by dicing up a large Yukon Goldie Boy. The easiest way to do this is to cut it lengthwise, turn a piece on its side, and make half inch cuts. Then stack the two similar size pieces and make two cuts before rotating and dicing. Then take the smallest slice, give it a cut down the middle, and dice. Transfer your taters to a microwave safe plate with a paper towel on it and microwave for 3 minutes. We're going to need half a small onion, so after you've cut and peeled it in half, set the onion down with the root facing away from you. Make quarter inch cuts along the onion, making sure to leave the root intact. Rotate and cut all the way through until you reach the root. Add a tablespoon of olive oil to a pan on medium heat, and when it's hot, add your taters and make sure each one is coated in oil. This will ensure that they don't stick together during cooking. Keep turning and mixing every so often until most of their sides are brown. Then add your onion, 2 teaspoons of paprika, 1 teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of salt into the mixture. Toss and let the flavors melt together for another 2 minutes. Plate it up, and it's finally time to dig in. Alright, so let's stick into these home fries. Mm. Crispy, a little sweet from the onion, the paprika, savory. Highly recommend this with some scrambled eggs, maybe a little ketchup, maybe a little hot sauce. I'm going to eat this whole thing right now, and then go throw it up later. I'm Evan from F Cooks Food. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.